know about me? Nothing. <laughs> There's not much to tell about me. I mean, I'm just part of a family that was interested in selling some whiskey and peddling it around the country, and now it's getting around the world. Well, um, in 1870, uh, my great-grandfather, George Garvin Brown, um, had moved to Louisville, and he and his half-brother um, went into business together to sell whiskey. And um, I imagine they learned how to make whiskey and grew up around whiskey on the farm. They lived down in Mumfordville. Now his half-brother was, I want to say, 20 years his senior. And so George Garvin Brown, his brother, borrowed some money and uh, went in and started making brands or started selling whiskey in the barrels just like they did, you know, everybody did back then. But George Garvin Brown had, uh, had more of a vision. Um, he was really into selling quality product. And, and that's probably where it became a little difficult between the two of them. Business was tough. I suspect they were running in cash flow issues. And his half-brother wanted to uh, sell the younger whiskey so that they could generate the cash. George Garvin Brown wanted to go out and borrow the money and get another investor in there. Um, and they did. They invited a man by the name of Henry Chambers to come in. And Henry Chambers had employed George Garvin Brown prior to him going into the whiskey business as a pharmaceutical salesman. And so Chambers came in as an investment and the company's name changed from Brown Brothers to Brown and Chambers. Um, time moves on. I suspect they're still having some cash flow issues. They needed some more money. Um, and JTS Brown Jr., his half brother, said, you know, look, I don't want to, I, this is my guess, um, don't want to borrow more money. Um, still wanted to sell product and a younger product um, to generate cash. George Garvin Brown didn't agree with that, and JTS Brown Jr. split off, and George Garvin Brown continued the company. And they were selling a product, the main product they were selling back then was a brand name Old Forrester. And uh, with that, started the development of the company over time in a number of bumps, and just like every company has, but it, it, it did pretty well, I would say, after a few decades maybe a century or so. So anyway, that, that's how we got started, by and large.